U.S. will not accept Chinese imports decimating new industries. China produces enough electric vehicles, solar panels, and refines enough petroleum for all of Europe and Asia. And Elon Musk, China and Russia's biggest fanboy, has said that Chinese electric vehicle firms will demolish rivals without trade barriers. So this must seem like music to your ears, right? But Janet Yellen, the Secretary of the Treasury, did not threaten new tariffs on China for their electric vehicles. The U.S. is trying to prevent another China shock that happened in the early 2000s when China just flooded the world market with very cheap goods, especially steel products, which really hurt the American steel industry. But in all honesty, it wasn't just the China shock that did this. We should also blame NAFTA. And the Chinese have responded. They said we will not sit idly by and ignore it. Nor should they, since BYD is a Chinese electric vehicle manufacturing firm, and it is almost the same market share as Tesla, at least when it comes to electric vehicles. Unfortunately for China, the US is doing this at the worst time for them. China needs the West to buy their products, especially their electric vehicles, because they have spent so much on that kind of investment. But China is going through deflation right now, and domestic demand is quite low. Like I said in my earlier video, China has overexpanded in manufacturing and has overproduced. Inventories are rising in China, forcing producers to drop down prices. China is desperate to sell these discounted goods in order to avoid another Great Depression. But if those Chinese products flood the Western and Japanese markets, then guess what happens to our own industries? This is America's extra turn of the screw in crushing and stagnating the Chinese economy. The beginning of all this is when Trump began to sanction China by not allowing Huawei and ZTE to be used for federal equipment. Those sanctions expanded into several other main Chinese sectors. But the most deadly blow that the US has struck against China is the sanctions on their semiconductor industry. Right now, to have the most innovative technology, you need the highest quality and smallest semiconductors. Right now, Taiwan with TSMC make the best semiconductors in the world, and the Dutch with ASML are right up there, and China is not getting access to their cutting edge chips, meaning that the US is slowing down China's ability to technologically progress. If China can innovate as rapidly as the other developed countries, then they start to lose market share. What companies stand to benefit from this? Germany, South Korea, America, and of course, Japan. That's why China needs to get their stuff out now, but the United States isn't letting them. Russia, I'm sure, would be willing to help. But look at Russia's little economy here compared to the United States and their allies. That's the market China wants and needs in order to stop this economic meltdown. But one thing that China has going for it is that it is a huge economy that most of the world depends on. They just want to stagnate it and contain it. And if the Chinese economy begins to crash too fast, the rest of the world will step in to help because we rely on them. My name is the Geo Husser, and you should see the post I made about Japan and China having so many similarities. Thanks for watching.